Bunker shots come in all shapes and sizes, all different lengths, different distances, and we have multiple wedges. If you're somebody that falls into the trap of just whipping out the sand wedge or the 60 degree because you're in a bunker, you might be making life a little bit harder on yourself than you need to. Today we're going to look at a 25 yard bunker shot and we've got a lot of green to work with so we're going to look at a strategy here that's hopefully going to make life a lot easier for us. So here's the shot. Again, we're about 25 yards total. Now the green itself, we've got quite a bit of green to work with, but this is all uphill to the flag. So anything that lands here with spin is just going to stop. And it's very common that I see golfers hit right in this area here and leave themselves with a good 25, 30 feet left. Now this is also a little bit of a ridge here. So once we get to the hole, this thing actually slopes the other way, so it's not the world's easiest shot. A couple of options here. If we go with that 60 degree wedge, we're going to have to really hit that thing hard and fly it all the way to the hole. Again, like I said, otherwise it's going to stop, you know, back in here somewhere. And that brings a lot of risk into the situation. For as hard as we would need to hit that 60 degree to get it all the way back there, if we happen to catch a little too much ball, Imagine where that thing's going. It's going like way back over there somewhere. And if we happen to hit it fat, then we're gonna leave it short and we're gonna have that 30, 35 foot putt. So the strategy today, we're gonna to do it with our gap wedge. I'm gonna go with my 52 degree. I'm gonna play a standard shot. I hope that the ball will come out sort of low and rolling and I don't have to fly it all the way to the hole. I can land it about midway and just let the ball release back. Also guys, make sure you stay until the end of this video because at the end of it, I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers, a couple of things that I see very often in bunkers, something that you wanna keep in mind. I'm gonna make up and down right now and uh, right after that, we'll get to those real important couple of points. This is the kind of bunker shot that if I can get this inside of 10 feet, that would be a really good result. It's really not the greatest miss in the world here. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, like we said, regular greenside bunker shot here, so I'm gonna open up the face. I've got my 52, my gap wedge. I'm looking at landing it about halfway up uh, under the green there, and let's go do it. Managed to get it inside of six feet, so I tell you what, I'd be very pleased with that result. Again, imagine if I had that 60 degree wedge out, I would have to smash it in order to get it that far. This thing was a nice, comfortable, smooth, cruisy swing. Worked out good. Okay, so you can see our normal splash there. I hit a good couple of inches behind it. Let's get up onto the green. It landed right in the spot where I wanted it to, so right in around this section right in there. Happy days, and let's see what we've got left. We've got about a four footer left here. Quite pleased. You know, I don't know if damage control is the right way to describe that kind of a bunker shot, but we certainly don't want to get ourselves into a situation where we're going to walk off here with, say, worse than one bunker shot and two putts. If we miss the green from that green side trap, we chip on and a couple of putts, that's how you rack up the double bogeys and we don't have any time for that. I was just watching back the video just to make sure that the audio worked out okay uh, for when I actually struck the shot and boy, this uh, jacket here is reflective. I look like a zebra. I don't normally look that way. This jacket, that what you see right there is about how it normally looks, but wow, that was out there. This has a little bit of right to left in it here. It's going to be outside of the cup, actually. Well, there we go, guys. We made up and down. Very pleased with that. I made life easy on myself. I de-risked 
the shot. The worst that was going to happen, I might have a 10, 15 foot or something like that. And if I didn't make up and down, so be it. But I wasn't going to get myself in a situation where it was going to take me four shots to get in from that bunker. Well, if you're still with me, then great, because we're going to jump back in that same bunker. I'm going to cover just a little simple thought for you guys that's going to make the world of difference. And it's something that I see all the time in terms of this mistake being made. So let's go back in the sand. Okay, so I've got a very simple saying for you. It's got two parts to it. Both have to do with weight, where you start and where you finish with your weight and what happens with it during the swing. So ideally in these bunker shots, we want more of our weight on that left side, almost shirt buttons over towards that lead shoe. That's gonna put 60, maybe 70% of the weight on that left foot, that lead foot. We wanna keep our weight there throughout the swing. The mistakes that I see are a couple here. People start with too much weight on that back, back foot and others might start with a weight on their left side, but in a subconscious effort to try and help the ball out, they end up backing up, and that is an absolute death move. We're gonna hit the sand first, and we're gonna flub it. We might even hit the sand and bounce into the ball, shoot it over the other side of the green. So remember, really simple. Weight left, stay left. Here we go. Remember that, simple thought. Weight left, stay left. If you're a lefty, it doesn't probably sound as good, weight right, stay right, it's okay. But remember, wherever it is, weight forward, stay forward. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Hopefully we're all set now on those bunker shots where we've got some green to work with. I'm gonna spend a little more time in this bunker here, just practicing a little bit. Go ahead and feel free to throw a like on it. Comment if you have any questions for me whether it's re with regards to something in this video or whether you want some help in some other part of the game. This particular video was by request, so feel free to request something that I can help you with. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you know when I've posted. Until next time, guys, good golfing.